nerdy onyx and i'm the curly rosie and, and we're, we're the nerdy, nerdy curly foodies how's it going <laughs> <laughs> how's it going in whatever corner of the world you're in which is probably either central florida or florida hi welcome to another episode we have the sun in our faces and as you can see the quarantine has been treating me okay and has been treating her quite well <laughs> Guys, it's been a long time since we've uploaded a video, but we are not gone, unfortunately, due to the global pandemic. Of course, we've had to kind of just wait to get food. Uh, but today, uh, you know, restaurants have been opening up little by little, and one particular restaurant has been doing dine-in and takeout. So we're going to do the takeout experience. Tell us a little more about this fantastic place we're going to go to today. So the name is Susuru. And I think we probably mentioned it before in our videos, just um, referencing Japan because, you know, we love Japan and we love Japanese food. So we're finally going to make it to this place and show you a little bit of what's called an isakaya. And in Japanese, that translates to pretty much a pub. A gastro pub. A gastro pub. So you can think of finger foods, you can think of beer. They do have more... Um, I think, well, not a lot. They're now branching out to have bigger plates. And that's what we're gonna go out and try. But when we first went there and when they first opened, they were all about small plates, small appetizers, very a lot pub like. Of yakitori, yeah, yakitori. which is the, the typical. So, a yakitori is essentially a skewer with different types of meat. So, very pub like, you know, very pub -like, small, yeah. small plates and beer. There's a bar go drink, you go eat, have finger foods, and that's what it is. They are expanding um, on their menu. They have ramen, and now they have some bigger rice plates, which is what we want to go try, which we're excited to try that. So. Exactly, and one of the best things about Susuru is the atmosphere. Yes. It's retro styled. Uh, I believe it's Showa era, I could be wrong, wow. but it is retro styled, retro themed. The music is like 60s, 80s, Japanese pop. It's fantastic. The atmosphere is great. We may not be able to get a lot of footage of the atmosphere due yeah. to, again, the situation. Um, but we'll see. All right, guys. So I'm about to make a quick phone call to place our order. We'll catch you once I have the food in our hands. Bye. Japan. I mean, I'm wearing some manga panel. We got a Nintendo New York from our New York trip. I know it's not technically Japan, but that's Japanese, and Nintendo's a Japanese company. So get with it, guys. Anyway, we'll see you there. Bye.
didn't see already. That looks delicious. So as you can see, they put like a spicy mayo or, or some sort of sauce on top. Mm -hmm. They sprinkle seaweed and then um, I forget the name of the of the other sprinkle, but it's it's pretty much more seaweed flavored yeah. stuff. So it's like spicy mayo, seaweed, and yummy fries. And yummy fries. Chopsticks that we got in Japan. It's pretty cool. Always fun eating French fries with chopsticks. Mm. 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 It's crazy to say, but fries with a fishy flavor, because that's really what it is. Yeah. You taste fish, you taste the sea, the seaweed. It's crazy, but it works. It works so it well. It works so well. And the creaminess of that sauce. Delicious. So good. Mentaiko fries is the name. Mm -hmm. Mentaiko. So next, we're gonna do katsu? The katsu don. Now, fun fact about me, I am a big fan of katsu. It's essentially fried pork. Mm -hmm. It's lightly breaded. Usually has a sauce and you can actually see it right here. Let's put it in the camera. You can see that brown sauce. That, that katsu sauce just makes the dish. I love this stuff. Um, I'm looking forward to trying this. All on top of rice, by the way. The katsu don and the susuru gyo don are both on a bed of rice. And like I have said earlier, these are new dishes for them. They are. These mm -hmm. are more filling and more as like an entree dish rather than an appetizer. Right. So, cheers. Cheers. Well, let me grab my piece. Cheers. cheers. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Mm. It's lightly breaded to perfection. It's fried. I'm going to put it right here, close to the camera so you can see. That sauce is everything. It's delicious. Rice. It's that perfect sushi mm, the sticky mm. that goes perfect with like a saucy meat. <laughs> I love me some sticky rice. The chef really knows what they're doing. Oops, sorry. Is that me? <laughs> Guys, I haven't even finished this and I want to eat this again. <laughs> That's how you know you've got a really good dish on your hands. You want to eat it again. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're going to move on to the next thing that we got to show you. And the last dish we got. And for this one, I'm going to record off of my phone so you can see a nice little angle to what you have to do with the food. This is a dish. fun one. That's why we left it for last. Mm -hmm. Insert footage now. <laughs> Gyudon is something else, let me tell you. And look what we have here. A raw egg yolk. Who's ready? I was born ready, baby. Ooh, wow. perfect three. Yes. Are you ready to mix? I'm ready to mix. Oh. <laughs> And now guys, this is how it looks mixed. You just saw the video of us putting the yolk in it and mixing it in. And this yumminess, gooiness, meaty, ricey, all the... I just can't wait. So this is the Susuru Gyudon. Let's see how it tastes. So I believe this is short rib meat. It's very exciting. Okay. If I'm wrong, I'll put it as a text. If I don't put a text, then 
That was right. <laughs> <laughs> the meat is tender. Mm. Wow. Wow. Mm. That meat is so tender. <laughs> oh wow oh wow mm. I, I know i've only said wow but wow, wow. this <laughs> is on another level i, I don't want to jump the gun here mm. we've had suzuru quite a few times um this might be my favorite dish there wow and it's a new menu item kudos to the chef this is delicious. I'm telling you right now. You're in the Orlando area. Kissimmee, wherever you are. And you could take a drive to the Disney area and go to Susuru and just do this takeout. You need to, because. Delicious. It's the perfect date night meal. You get the fries to share. You get the, the entrees to share, because you can share both so you guys can try each one, which is something we love to do. And it's just perfect. It really is. <sighs> guys, guys, guys. I'm pretty stuffed and mm. we're not even done yet. But let me let me tell you something, okay? When you go to a restaurant and you get food and you start eating it and halfway through the meal, you're already thinking of the next time you want to go, like Rosie said earlier. That's a good, a very good mm -hmm. sign. And uh, throughout the whole time we're eating, it's just what we thought. We cannot wait to go back. That might be a gluttonous thought, but who cares? This is no, delicious. No, it's a susuru thought. It's a susuru thought. I like that. I like that. Okay. Uh, this is great, guys. I mean, it, it, it's got a lot of, of just umami flavor, as mm -hmm. the Japanese say. Um, so I said it earlier, kudos to the chef. Uh, if you're ever in Orlando, definitely, definitely check out Susuru. Have to. We will be doing a part two video at some point of showing you the actual dine-in experience because unfortunately, due to the global pandemic, this is what we have to do. But yeah. being takeout, it, it did not disappoint. At and all. having to drive almost 30 minutes back home. Worth it. Absolutely worth it. Was, it was amazing. If we love Susuru already, just for what it is and it's delicious appetizers this it still stands as our favorite japanese restaurant and absolutely still stands absolutely all right guys well thanks so much for watching if you if you're a first time viewer please do the usual youtube stuff you know never mind you know what you have to do um however if you are one of the new subscribers that joined recently thank you so much for joining uh we hope you enjoy this content we will be doing more if you want us to check out a restaurant please let us know in the comments let us know uh, if there's any place that you would like us to check out we're open to pretty much any type of food yeah uh so let us know thank you for eating with us <laughs> thank you very much you'll have a good one bye